Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to I Love You 2021, Johnny Tamaro. Miss Draper, how are you? Hi, darling, how are you? You're looking amazing. You, you look amazing. I can't believe I have to follow these other two gorgeous girls, but I'll try my best. Listen, ladies first, but you don't even worry about it. Um, so w please introduce that amazing actress, all grown up. Last time I saw her, she was playing Tina. I think she was 19 or something. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Up, uh, so beautiful. That's uh, my co-star and editor of The Honey Zoom is Jolie Trebuzio. And uh, she's a powerhouse. I know her uh, since 1997 or 98. Right, she was like young, young, young. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and so uh, we've been working together. You know, we did a we did a bootleg uh, wedding show first, and then a we did a bootleg show. rip off wedding what show. What was yeah. that called? That was the Godfather's Michigan wedding, and uh, uh, we met my last show and her first show. My last show as the character Sal Manella. Oh, we're going. I don't want to go into that. That's crazy. Anyway, in 19 in 90 in 2002, she auditioned for Tony and Tina's wedding. And I was in uh, I was on the table with Larry uh, casting it. And she walked in and we cast her as a, a swing. She, I think she was sister Alba Maria and then Maddie. And then she became Tina. Ultimately. Oh, she's just so adorable. So yeah. adorable. I love your chemistry. I love the Honey Zoomers. I myself love Charles Messina. I did one of his plays, Sick Bastard. I mean, I just yep. love the guy. He's such a doll. I've seen you in many of his plays. I always go. And I would like to know, though, inquiring minds want to know, Johnny, I know you're talented, but you were on both sides of the camera. I mean, how on earth did you achieve what you achieved? It was uh, pretty unique, you know, right when the pandemic started and the quarantine started, Charles was talking to a, a fellow, another friend of ours, Jeremy, who actually did the theme song. He wrote the theme song for the show. And he said, what are you guys doing now? And Charles was like, what are we doing? We're, we're, we're in quarantine. We're a pandemic. We're, we're, we're going to do nothing. And he goes, you should do a TV series, like a web series uh, on YouTube. And Charles said, okay. So he called myself and, and he called Jolie and he said, okay, we're going to do this TV show. And I said, uh, how are we going to do that? We're in quarantine. How we, we can't be in the same room. You remember how the quarantine works? He goes, uh, don't worry. You're going to film your lines and all of your stuff in your apartment. There's the set right behind me here. And she's going to film her lines and everything for on her end in her apartment. And then she's going to edit it all together. And I was like, okay. He goes, we're going to do it in black and white. We're going to pay homage to the honeymooners and all in the family and the odd couple, all the sitcoms we love. Right. And uh, we're going to do classic 39 episodes like the honeymooners did. And I'm like, okay, sounds great. Well, here we are almost a year later. And we did 39 episodes in about 40 something weeks. And, and people want to know how long are these episodes? Like, are they... They're anywhere between eight minutes and 15, 16 minutes. Very short little uh, vignettes. And every week, every episode was kind of based on what everybody was going through during right. the quarantine and during the pandemic. And, you know, the first episode is myself, you know, with all my medication and my, my thermometer in my mouth watching Cuomo. Like everybody was glued to the TV in New York watching Governor Cuomo. So, right. It's been, and, uh, uh, I know that you're an amazing improv artist. So uh, were you improving? Were you memorizing lines? How did it all work? Like, you know, what, what did you do? So I you and Joe Lee are amazing improvisers, but oh, thank you had you. a script, right? Thank you. Oh. Yeah, so we had a script. He, he, Charles would send us a script once a week. And every Sunday night or Monday during the day, Joe Lee and I would get on the phone and we'd read the script. And we'd, you know, little whatever nuances, we knew we had a hit. And then we'd... Uh, plan out the shot list and then the first two episodes I tried to memorize the lines and I'm like I can't I, I was like because he wanted it quick and I'm like I can't memorize the lines what am I doing and then I printed out the lines like cue cards nice and big and I put them to the right or the left of the camera and I made believe she was there and all I did was read the lines and then I got technical and I transferred it all to my iPad 
and blew it up to like 36 font. And I just put the iPad where she was supposed to be. And I just read the lines and, you know, acting with nobody in the room. I've never done that before. Right. So you're acting alone. Nobody's there. What's so interesting to me. So sometimes you held space or sometimes. So say the lines were, honey, I love you. She said something. Honey, I need the doctor. Were you cut it? Were you stopping the filming or are you just holding like you're reading? So you're kind of. So sometimes I would send her chunks of, scene, of, of lines and I would pause between each line and give a reaction to what she, what her line was, because I remember the way she said the line on the phone when we did the reading. Right. And, and sometimes I just send her a line, 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 like three, four, five different takes of, of, of you know, the, the, way, the way the line should be said. But. Um, and that is what's great with acting with such good friends. Like, you know, so well. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. When you know people so well, you know, it's wonderful. You and Jolie are just adorable. Thank you. You know, you are the best eyebrow actor I have ever met in my life. Wow. Thank you. (laughs) That is like a skill that that's like Meg's uh, uh, ukulele and Conchetta's painting, that eyebrow acting. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, episode episode two, the blooper episode two is out now as well on YouTube. And our episode three blooper reel will be coming out in a couple of weeks. But just like the Honeymooners, we also found lost episodes. Imagine that. There are two lost episodes on our YouTube channel right now. And a third one is coming out either uh, to maybe tomorrow or Friday or the beginning of next week. But, you know, we were working on something else. We were, had a project in place. It was going to go. And then the pandemic came and squashed it. Well, postponed it until a later date. So now when, when we figured out what to do, you know, most people, because I said to myself in my mind, I said, you know, we, most people start something, but they never go and bring it to fruition and continue and finish it. And I said, I wonder if, if we're going to do that. And thank goodness, you know, the, it's a testament to all three of us how we work so well together that we were able to bring it. I'm, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm to I'm gonna toot my own horn. I'm extremely proud of this. I mean, it got us on Channel 5, on Channel 4, on Channel 11. It right. got us we the Wall Street yeah, Journal. All the press. I mean, yeah. you got a major press. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we even got in the Daily News and, you know, Joyce Randolph. Trixie from the Honeymooners, who's still alive. She's 96. Yeah, she likes to go to the Stonewall and have a martini or two. Really? She's cool, yeah. Wow. She's a village lady, likes it in the village. And, Ch- and Charles and her have the same birthday. Oh, my goodness. So that's weird. And Charles was, yeah, crazy, crazy. And Charles was lucky enough to have a fantastic uh, conversation with her over the phone. And she was loving what we're doing. And she gave it the stamp of approval. Hey, man, you know, we're not electricians. You know, our, our tools are not tangible. We're not carpenters. Our tools are inside of us. All of us. Uh, you got Meg, you got Conchetta, you, everybody that, well, you, you know. Well, you and Jolie have a wonderful chemistry and you're not even in the same room. I mean, you could feel the love. Like, mm. you could feel the connection and you're not even in the same room. And I have to say, this is a little sidebar. My dear friend Ken Woodhouse did one of your episodes and his, he was so touching. I felt him so much and I feel you guys. Like you have real moments where it comes down and it goes up and you really connect to the truth that, you know, a personal pain. You yeah. know, and that's what's great about Charles writing. There's always like a personal oh. pain aspect in everything that he writes. That's what I like about it with the high art comedy, you know. Exactly. There's there's a, there's a base and a foundation and right. and that 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 you know visceral uh you know feelings that people get when you see it. Um she and I have been working so long together that like you said our chemistry is so spot on that without even being in the same room we're able to 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 get these nuances and get everything across. And like I said every episode deals with what people have been going through during the pandemic. So we're getting fantastic feedback about it. And uh... I want you to put in the chat, you you know, just because some people might know exactly how to do it. So if you go to YouTube and you look up 
the Honey Zumas. Uh huh. And uh, you subscribe to the YouTube channel, whatever you got to do. Charles Messina, Jolie, and Mr. Johnny. It's wonderful. I'm so happy for you. 